Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all having a great week so far. So today, ta more Eule watercolors. And um, if you have been following my YouTube channel, then you have seen these guys all swatched out, lollipop set and oceans eight. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. And a lollipop set was um, swatched out in comparison to the mermaid set, which does not include these two. They just need a home. So yes, home staying with the mermaids. <laughs> go check it out if you are interested. And yes, no further ado, let's meet the new colors. And I am actually super surprised how fast these guys arrived because it has never ever happened that the order arrived the same month that I placed the order. So I was like, when my dad told me like, oh, your package has come. I was like, what package? <laughs> So, as you can see, my dad already unwrapped it for me. So we were just like, take a look inside and do a little unwrapping and then check out the new samples. And yes, as happy as I am that these guys arrived so fast, there are still a couple that hasn't arrived for like a couple of months already. And if you know how to deal with like um this sort of orders not arriving please leave in the comment below or dm me on my instagram and yeah like i actually don't know how to handle situations like this i mean i message some of the makers they kind of just tell me to wait it out or that is out of their control or that basically called me a liar for like actually receiving an order and just want to like get more colors and so yeah um i would like to avoid all those like crappy situations so if you have a proper way to deal with it or um or i should just cut cut my losses and not order from those makers anymore um yeah teach me let me know yeah just i mean this is why i start my youtube so we can connect and share experience and yeah and now i need your help seriously because um it's quite a lot of money that i will be losing if I don't get those colors yeah and I don't know how to get them yeah and some of the makers they just at first they reply then they just stop replying so I don't know what's the deal there either but I'm not going to name them out because <sighs> small business I do want to give them a chance but yeah, we will see how it pans out. If it reached a mark of like one year and I hasn't received my colors, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to cut my losses, I guess. Anyway, and you are not gonna believe it. One of the orders is actually almost one year. Like it's gonna be an year, like it's been 10 months. So almost a year. Yeah, sad. Anyway, anywho, happy notes so today here we have actually uh, we have like two sets and it's the half pants 12 vintage set simmer watercolor paint and the 3d set handmade watercolor paint half pants in tin case and so um yes let me see if there's any other information that i need to shoot on this paper nope all right let's open them oh my god it 
It's a swatch card. We should definitely color this in. And then, oops. Oh. Very well protected. <gasps> Look at them. All right, let's move those. Let's bring it up close. Mm, look at those pillow tops. That's okay. I know in the name of being eco friendly, not having the everything wrapped individually is yeah, but I'm gonna miss being able to do this. This was fun. I like things unified and so yes yeah, going to take some use to and and also that um you they used to come with like this little like stickers i'm going to miss those too but that's just my personal preference <laughs> it's yeah it's not going to change how i feel about the watercolors okay i'm going to doesn't want to come out okay out oh okay the numbers are not on it I'm going to believe that they are in their proper order I hope and I'm going to stick it up here oh yeah there's like no colors or anything so um you don't want to mess up the orders or that you can just write it out yourself I guess but now I'm worried that what if they're not in their orders I might have to pull out my trusty Instagram and find Jeannie's um, Etsy shop and see if I can make sure that the colors match the numbers and is placed in their orders yeah none of um none of them do have the do 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 have the numbers on it but look at how pretty they are Just trying to show you what I'm seeing. All right, one sec. We're going to get to this if I can find my phone. Okay, which I can't. Okay, one second. Coming, coming. All right. Let's see. Mm. Let's see real fast. Eule watercolor, of course, is in my search. And so, here it's the, oh, here, okay, yes. So here is the Etsy shop of Jeannie. Eule watercolors, and we will just scroll down and find Oh, I think the vintage said it was the last one. But there are um, singles right here, so I can sort of try to match them, right? Yeah, so... Um, actually, I can't, not really. Because it's color shift, so it all look a little bit different in different angles so this could be problematic oh look there's a cell going on beside the point <laughs> beside the point okay i have got to um somehow figure it out c109 is this place Oops. oh only because I flipped it over. Duh. All right. 109. So 109. Yes. Oh, now it makes so much more sense. 108. Yes. Now I don't have to panic because they seems to be in order. 
and 107 right there 101 that looks about right and I click into oops and let's go back and okay and yeah 103 that looks about right 105 okay so I can trust that um, 104 that looks about right 102 yes so I can trust that they are in their order as they are supposed to yeah I flipped it almost had a panic attack I was like how am I ever going to figure out which goes where which number and you know anyway I uh, now we are safe on that note let's meet the 3d before we do the swatch card that's prepared by Jeannie there's no pretty way of placing this but you do want to see the colors don't you all right all right one two three Ta -da! these are the 3D colors and let's see pull them out yeah so these ones have name on that and now I have to place them all facing the same way because I'm weird like that or yeah their name all have to face like left Because that's how I organize the other ones and so this is how I'm going to organize this one all right so let's place it back I wonder what the 3d means I guess we'll wait uh, we will figure it out when we do so check out these colors Do they sparkle differently? I think I read it somewhere in Ginny's post. Let me get back to that and see if I can find the answers for you. It might be a really, really old post though. I think the 3D set came out a while back and um, the thing of, that I love about uh, Eule watercolors is that, um, oh see, that's a post for a vintage set. Go click that. <laughs> Wait, um, how was I saying? Where is the 3D? Did it come out before the vintage or after? I saw a post here. It's a draft though. And there. Okay, I found it. Hmm. But it doesn't say all right anyway I will you know figure it out someday when I'm uh, using it <laughs> I'm sure but let's put that aside for now and bring this one over oh and let's make the samples first so what i do is that um because i usually later on this is cards so i have like this like little box and this is a box of yule watercolor samples except for these two these two that i bought <laughs> and they don't have a home so they they are living in, with with the samples for now <laughs> and um I really need to get on to getting those bigger things and just put the colors from the same maker in a box. But I also have the need to put 
the same set together? Do you have like that urge to just like see them in a box and everything and know that they belong together? <laughs> okay, stop being weird, <laughs> right? <laughs> so this color is um, one of the sample that I got this time. Oh, speak, speaking of samples, these ones that I got la last time and like I haven't tried them, but I really like how they look. They look, they belong together, don't they? The bottom three. Anyway, so this is the new ones. And speaking of being eco-friendly, look at this, guys. So, um, let me block this so you can actually see it. And so, um, yeah, so this guys, how to store this, you might ask. So what you do is that you, you get those like, um, empty half pens or a quarter pen, um, thing and you just like dump them in and use it like how you would use it or that you can like um hot glue it onto a piece of like water paper water water paper watercolor paper water paper all right <laughs> new word of the day all right watercolor papers um and then just like do it like how you would um uh, with the dot cards and yeah just like uh, oops okay just like you know how like dot cards like this and just add water and then you can use them and yeah so that's like something you could try to or that the uh, all right let's pull it out so this is a traveling set and um Jeannie do sell them um empty but i got it with like her colors because I was going through a phase of like totally loving everything that color shifts. It was so amazing and I was like totally like wowed by it. Yes. Anyway, so yeah. So this is a set and there's like new sets that has come out and I I'm going to just stick with this one because as you can see I haven't even started using it. So I don't feel right to buy more. All right, <laughs> it's all about self-control. Over stationary. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, so these are how you can store the little dots that like, or that if like it's a repeat, you can just like stick on it or something, yeah. Something like that will work. All right. All right. No further ado. Let's see these colors. And let's see these beautiful petal tops once more. And let's take a picture. Because, all right. Because it's about to be. I have to. Move my little decorations. All right, and my trusty water brush here, and let's do just a little bit. I don't want to make it too too wet, just enough to activate it to show you the color and finish this swatching. And I'll do a proper one, like how I usually do it. And, and you can, you know, subscribe and like click on that bell thing and then you will be notified of my future videos and then you won't miss that swatching. See, I am improving. I'm saying what? YouTubers supposed to say. <laughs> oh, and um, yeah, so 
um, someone actually leave a comment to to ask me um, to mention a name as I swatch too, because like I usually do it in the intro, and then you know we flip over and look at the names and then get to know the colors. But when during swatching, because like some of the names are not on the um, case or whatever that they came in with. So um, I don't necessarily mention the name, only the couple that I do remember off the top of my head. And so yeah, I'm going to try that. So this is 101. I don't think per this one like partic particularly helps, but yeah. Okay, let's try to color with in the line, which it's really difficult in a distance. I'm already thinking what, you know how like I usually do like doodles and um, and then do my swatching on them or the other way around yeah so um i don't usually do the other way around on camera the reason being because i need to wait for it to dry and then my camera has to be left like here and then and then continue it just it for someone who has like technical difficulties like te technology difficulties um, yeah that that sounds like um, um, disaster waiting to happen so so I usually doodle first and then do swatching but on my own time like yeah actually I should usually color then do the swatching but then yeah, I just place it on the side and let it dry, take its own sweet time. And I am, oops, I'll, no, I just try to make it round. All right. I bet these guys will look great on um, black papers too. And what would be a good studio topic for this set? Bear in mind that this set is called a vintage. So I don't know, um, like pocket watch um, or what else? Um, hmm, something to think about. It's like sharing my thinking process, which is um, at the has met a narrow road or a block at the moment, and oh, how about those like classy um vintage heels like shoes that would be cool i can oh and i can practice my shoe like shoes structure at the same time that look that sounds like a good plan or handbags handbags could be nice um What else? Oh. oh, and apologies about like apparently for the mermaid set swatching, I actually repeat one of the colors. It's yeah, it, like it's really hard to focus when like you are talking, swatching, and and then checking if the camera is showing the color all at the same time, and 
Yeah, and I guess I skipped a color and then repeated it. Sorry. <laughs> and thank you for pointing that out to me. <laughs> because like after the video, I was like sitting there for the longest time staring at my swatching and then I was like, why do these two colors look like exactly the same? I could, yeah, it, it did not occur to me that I repeat the same colors. So well, that was funny. Da, da, da. Try to color this one within the line. Come on. It's like a challenge itself. Oh, speaking of challenges, I have joined a couple of um, hand lettering challenges on Instagram for this month. And um, for my See You Later account, um, I actually. Um, it's it's like the same challenges from May because I enjoy them so much. The hosts are so nice and they share your work and they comment and like um like like the interaction is like just really comfortable and also that also that um I really enjoy their their um, work for their their own um, posts for the challenges like their like um, lettering style and all so like um, I actually just repeat them like in June so um, and then I found a new one alright so the ones that I stick with was Love Art Lettering Challenge hosted by Doodle of Love, Jen Art Scape, and Letters by Jenny. So for this um for this challenge, Doodle of Love and Jen Art uh, Artscape, um they are like the main hosts and they uh every month they will have a co host and this month for June is Letters by Jenny and and that um if you have been watching my channel and my videos then you know that i have gotten the colors from doodle of love and then so for that particular challenge i you only use last set to letter with the help of like Jolly Roll, my trusty Jolly Roll pens. <laughs> yeah, so that's the one that I stick with since May. Actually, I did, um, I think I did it uh, like for December or November or something. I can't believe it's been 10 months. I've been lecturing for 10 months. How cool is that? And yeah, so I actually joined the challenge a couple of times and yeah, I really, really enjoy it. It's been fun and um, there's a lot of like different styles that um, how like a thing called that was that was like um, lettered differently and yeah, it's really, really great. And the other one that I've done since May and continued and this one I really 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 love it's like um, in May it was all about coffee and it's like Letter Girl Gang so it's hosted by that the letter out letters out Graphomedia and Girl with Marker and Zuzana lettering and so with that oh yeah I'm like super super 
like organized now. So what I do is that um, I would I would like pick the challenge and then decide my um, like the sets that I'm going to or like colors I'm going to use for that particular um, challenge. And so like for this one, it's only Jolly Roll paint with like samples, like the samples that I showed you earlier to do a little dazzling. Um, yeah, so like for the coffee one, I use the, the uh, brown, uh, sparkly shimmery brown sample from Genie and to do a lot of the coffee. So, and but it's mainly like the mainly focus is like Jolly Roll paint. So um, yeah, I really like the style. So this month I actually continue the same. Like, hold on, last one before I get back. Do some mumbling. Okay, we can let it dry a little bit while we talk about lettering challenge on Instagram. See, all right, super organized. You're gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. So I, um, for this particular challenge, is all black paper and Jolly Roll paint mostly and then just like a little bit of like samples from Yule watercolors and and just to give it a little sparkle yeah so that's that and then I have shown the the coffee challenge that I have done and that's one okay actually let's finish this one first before I make my table super messy and so um, this is the, this is the, I want to say, yes, it's the Love Art Lettering Challenge. So I used this set to paint these guys and then then for oh this is a new one that I found and it's called Bloom Lettering Challenge by Nate Calligraphy, Caitlin Creates and Letters by Katie. And um I I'm using the lollipop set. I figured that since I did a swatching and then I'll do the lettering like that's ocean this is lollipop so i will do the lettering using the same set just see how they work together and then i'm happy 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 hello june all right and um i'm all like super organized i already counted how many papers i will like have and then just organize them accordingly and this is another one that I've done since May it's a sarcastic lettering challenge by Gongjin Kashek and Nola lettering and so they're always super funny and like sassy and it's just like really fun to work to actually come up with how I want to arrange it and yes as you can see I'm trying to um, learn how to do the whole flourishing thing and then for this particular one this month I am using the oh, my table is so messy all right Renee's watercolors so this is the underground collection and 
And Renee, she's like very, very super duper nice. If you create anything, anything with her colors and you just like uh, tag her and then she will share it in her stories. It's like super, super supportive. So yeah, that's something to think about. And let's see. Yeah, so this is what I did last month in May and it's the same challenge and then yeah, so this is the sarcastic one and then so I did it with and flower tails watercolors but it's from all different sets and some of the singles that I've picked and then now I'm thinking that I will stick with one set and do it for the whole month and then I can show like how the color combo works and yeah it might be helpful for some people if you're that's something that you're interested in and then um, that's the love art later challenge where I used doodle of loves watercolor to create these guys super fun 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 and yeah so that's it for today and since it's like so small it's probably dry enough to nope not really I might have added too much water but oh my goodness <laughs> totally loving them it kind of reminds me of like G set um, that I had from before a little bit some of the colors but then G said it's discontinued but look at that I'm so glad because like I only have these dark cards and now it's discontinued there are a couple of colors that I really love and will not be able to get in anymore so this would be a good replacement yeah Oh, it totally will work. I am loving the colors. That's, um, oops, sorry. I'm trying to do a close up. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, do you see that? Let's see how it just shifts and shimmers. All right, I hope that, all right, I hope that you have enjoyed this little um, unwrapping and my um, May quick flip through and what I'm go what I have going on in June and little swatching and yeah, the whole deal and then I'm I'm happy happy purchase I think it's a good choice all right um thank you for watching and if you have any questions or anything that you like any suggestions just leave in the comment below and well I will see you later <laughs> bye bye thank you for watching